speaking of uh, countries which destabilized Afghanistan, for long in the past, you have called Taliban a proxy regime of Pakistan. Now we're also seeing rising terror attacks happening in Pakistan, especially in provinces, in the province which borders Afghanistan. Any message that you have for Pakistan? Well, you reap what you sow. They they made this. They've they've built forty thousand madrasas. They've taken the people that I've represented, the uh, Kuchis. We're nomadic, and we go across the Duran line all the time. Uh, people from the Pashtun uh, ethnic group. They've brainwashed them. They've killed our tribal elders. They've built forty thousand madrasas along the border, brainwashing them about what Islam is, uh, what the ISI version of Islam is. Um, and and how Afghans weren't real Muslims and how uh, Muslims around the world and in Indonesia and Malaysia and these other places, they're not practicing the real Islam, only they are. And uh, um, they, they've, they've kept them poor, they've kept them oppressed, they've kept them um, without resources purposely. They've oppressed the Pashtun people, they've oppressed the Baluch people, they've oppressed, oppressed the Sindhi people, and then they weaponize them against Afghans, they weaponize them against other countries, they weaponize them against their own people. So now what you're seeing is that those same brainwashed people, which some of them are including Punjabis, including every ethnic group, uh, they're realizing that, wait a minute, uh, uh, Pakistan has had more sinning and more things that are haram uh, within their own borders than some than Afghanistan ever did. And look at what the Afghans, uh, what the Taliban did. They were able to take over that entire government and defeat the U.S. Why can't we? So um, having a state that's as insecure as as uh, Pakistan uh, hold nuclear weapons is actually terrifying. Uh, I, I, I'm a staunch believer that that the nuclear weapons should be managed by a, a, a different uh, country or a different organization. Um, because it's dangerous. What if it falls into the wrong hands? Um, and and Pakistan is is I don't know. Uh, they they made their situation what it is today. I, no one is to blame about uh, in regards to the the security situation in Pakistan other than ISI and the military establishment.